Hi there, Brett Britz from Britz Designs. I wanted to show you a really cool speaker project that I made. Uh, this is called a E104, and it's referring to an elliptical, one tweeter, and four woofers. The zero really stands for no mid ranges. Uh, the case is made from cedar and also with the faceplate. You can see it has a really cool blue pine inlay into the surface. So if you're curious about the cedar and the blue pine both, um, they're actually both pretty native to Washington State here in the Spokane area. The blue pine is actually a beetle kill um, wood. You can see the beetle holes here. And the blue is actually from a fungus that travels on the beetle as well. It's very common. It happens uh, pretty much in our forests up here. But nonetheless, it makes this really cool looking wood and it makes also a nice contrast between the cedar and the blue pine. So pretty subtle look to that. To make this outline, I used a CNC router. However, you can use a hand router with a template and you can go ahead and make that inlay as you like. And realistically, if you look at the arc, you can see where I basically made it fit. I also use a CNC router for that, but you can easily do a sander and shape that. These are all Dayton Audios, four inch woofers, Dayton Audio, uh, one and a eighth inch silk tweeter. For the woofers and tweeters, they're Dayton Audios. The uh, woofer is actually a four inch reference series. It's actually an RS100P-4. Uh, four refers to a four ohm speaker. It's a very nice design speaker, um, although it is small, so you're not gonna get a lot of bass out of this particular woofer. As far as the tweeter goes, the tweeter is a DC28F-8, and that's actually an eight ohm. And the way that we wired it up, we can um, design that for a nice four ohm crossover. The box mode. design itself was um, is a closed box system and the volume of it was designed for those specific Dayton Audio four inch woofers. So since there's four of them, we have the uh, cubic feet associated with that particular woofer and the dynamics of the, of the woofer. Woofers that are used in this particular box, it really lends itself to have um, a subwoofer, an amplified subwoofer in association with this. And while I'm not a huge subwoofer fan for these particular speakers since they're a smaller design and the cutoff frequency on this particular enclosure is about 120 hertz, having a nice active subwoofer is very handy for um, getting those low lows that you want and still have the dynamic, the nice woofer uh, base associated with the lower end but not the lowest end. So keep that in mind when you're doing this project. You'll probably want to amplify the subwoofer as well. We also made on the bottom side here, you can find, you can see that uh, we have a really cool stand, all machined aluminum, except for the actual base, which is a sheet metal plate that I made up. On the back, we have gold-plated terminal input. And on the inside of the box, I actually incorporated the Dayton Audio two-way 3K Hertz uh, crossover into the design as well because this is a nice off-the-shelf crossover works well with the Dayton Audio speaker components and you can kind of see how it fits quite nicely inside the box. So if you're interested in getting these plans you should go ahead and take a look at Brits Designs on Etsy. You can also find me on Facebook. They're all linked together. Go ahead and take a look at those plans and a little bit more information on the design and I hope you enjoy building it as much as I did.